What is going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with a brand new episode of the Darren McDonald Bio Pro Series for NHL 24. If you haven't already, scroll down and hit that level. In this one, the 11th place, 33, 22, and 5 New York Rangers are taking on the 12th place, 33, 24, and 2 Minnesota Wild. So, we missed 30 games due to injury, but we're back. We're better than ever. And DMAC has 15 goals in 30 games played, but we're 60 games into the season. Not fun. So here we go, jumping into this one, tied at one around the halfway point of the second period. We are on the power play, so D to the measle, probably, yeah, not going to be on the ice. So we'll simulate on ahead. There I am, right in the corner. See, I'm like the number one guy. I'm sitting beside Victor Arvidsson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll sim ahead. We got a minute two left on this power play, and we got a sim goal. Is it going to be a good one? It's going to be a good one. Tavo Teravainen gets it past Philip Gustafson, YTHL legend, and oh yeah, of course. Jump on the ice. We're already like in the middle of the ice. So as you guys had seen in the uh, the the episode two of the custom league series, I have not played this game in weeks, so I'm like super not good at it right now. So <laughs> I'm I'm getting back into the hang of it. There we go. Erickson Act. No, lose that thing. Keandre Miller gets it up to D to the measle, up to his advantage. I'll take it back. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, buddy. D Mac comes in. Uh, we're stopping up, and uh, what is that, Brody? Come on, can I just have? What is this? Oh, it was Erickson Act. It's like, Jesus, man, they just throw you around the earth. And there comes, oh, my God, it's Johansson on a break, a partial breakaway. And Marcus Johansson puts home his 12th goal of the season. Not even on a 20-goal gosh darn pace. But he just blew, blew past Adam Fox and Keandre Mill. Look at them. Look at them. It's like you're not even trying. Shesty, where are you, buddy? He gets stapled to the boards. I did not mean to shoot that. And Zibanejad gets it in front of the net. Take the shot. He's not going to take the shot. All right. Kalen Addison's going to get rid of that one. I tried to shove him from behind. Didn't work. And Goudreau just got thrown across the earth. All right. Here they come in again. Uh, Shesterkin, you could always, you know, like knock that thing away or whatever you want to do. All right. We actually held on to it. Let's do a little saucer feed down the boards to our Temi Panarin, who does nothing to hold on to the puck. So we're going to throw a hit to help our buddy out. I'm going to get, um, oh my God. They pick off everything, dude. What's happening? Okay, here we go. Joel Eriksson Ek walks in, takes a shot, and Shesterkin gonna get the Bronx cheer by making a goddamn save. <laughs> oh. Uh, Philly Gus got a 909, and Shesty with just a 903. We are approaching the trade deadline, and we have arguably one of the best goaltenders in the National Hockey League, and he's got a 903 up the middle. Can we get through everyone? Yes, we can. We got a breakaway. Here we go, baby. Billy Goss, and he makes the glove save. I thought he was going to play that one. He didn't. I guess I could stop backskating one of these days. Here comes Chandler. Stevenson gets it over to Kirill. The thrill and a great takeaway by Lindgren. I just threw a hit on Kaprizov like hella late, man. All right, what do we got? Uh, whip this thing around the net. Breadman gets there. I'm trying to get out in front, trying to screen the goaltender. He takes a shot. I think that actually hit me on the way in. I was too busy, um, you know, interfering with the guy in front of the net blatantly. So our defense grade, not exactly where we'd like it to be. But the offense grade, not too shizabby. The team play grade, not too shabby either. With one second left in the period, Janssen takes a penalty. We got another power play coming to start the third. So, put 20 minutes back on the clock as always, here at Madison Square Garden, baby. As we got 1 minute 59 seconds left on a power play. What are we down? Down to 17.30. Okay, so that one, we didn't get anything going on. But hopefully, as DMAC gets onto the ice, we get started. Damn it, I didn't even pick that off. Chandler Stevenson gets around his man and a save by Shesterkin. All right, I'm backing off. I'm going to try and play both these guys at the same time. Oh, took it away from Kirill the Thrill. And he beat me into the corner, but we'll tie him up. Tie him up. Tie him up. Force the kick. Damn it, his guy got there. Okay, watch watch what you're doing. Hannafin, uh, everybody got in front of you. Boldy, lose that thing. And Zibanejad comes away with it. Get gone. Panarin, why are you swiping? Why would you veer off into nowhere, land? Oh, you idiot. <laughs> oh, oh, you make my soul hurt, buddy. Stevenson tosses that one away. Lindgren gets it back. Almost loses it, but they trip him. We got another power play coming. Will it be successful? Chandler Stevenson going to sit for two or less. Here at MSG, baby. Here at MSG. All right, what can we... Have, oh, man. I keep forgetting this is the 61st game of the season. Foxy's got, like, 53 points. And it's going to be a good one. Oh, there's only 10 and a half minutes to go in the game, though. I have no idea who got that goal, but we're up 3-2. to two. Okay. 
Brady Shea finds me. Oh, yeah, let's dodge some folks. Get it back to the point. Right in front of Brady Shea. I think that hit the goalpost. Oh, my God. All right. Knock your man. Get out of the way. <laughs> Maxime Comtois. Come on. Where is the defense on this team? Jesus, guys. What are you doing? Comtois gets his 14th of the season. That was crap. That was garbage. Look at this. Oh, Brady Shea. Like, the deadline's coming, man. Get rid of him. That was terrible. We're putting the pressure on him. Don't stop now. <laughs> I can do that. Oh, yeah, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. It's working out so well. Come on, Foxy, find me. Damn it, Brodeen picked that one off. It's Oh, Panarin gets it back. Okay, uh, take that shot. Big deflection and a save. Boom! <laughs> Caitlin Addison, lay your head down, buddy. Here comes Sokolov in front, big slapper, and it trickles through. It's Marco Rossi. And just like that, it's 4-3 to three for the Minnesota Wild. Can we buy a save in this game? Is it possible for Igor Shesterkin to just give us a save at some point in time? Is that too much to ask? Jesus. All right, we're stuck back in our own zone. Keandre Miller, that was a good play, good play. Get that up to Panarin. We got to get back into this game. Big pass up to Zibanejad, who just takes a big... That was a good shot. It was a decent shot. All right, we got the defensive skill stick going a little bit here. Back towards our own zone. Kirill Kaprizov just walks through the whole team, and God! Yeah, Matt Boldy! <laughs> Puts in his 15th! Get Shesterkin out of the net. Put Laurent Brossois in that net right now. Immediately. This is an unacceptable result. Look at this. Oh, God. The defense on this team is just, and I'm off the ice. The defense on this team has just completely shut off. We were up, we were tied at one, then we were up two to one. It was tied 2-2, two, two. we went up 3-2, to two, and now it's 5-3 Minnesota. Let's get back on the, we gotta get back in this game. Artemi Panarin brings it into the zone. Breadman finds me. Oh, we just did the exact same thing back to them. What a goal by Artemi Panarin. Second of the night, 28th of the season. Assisted by yours truly, D to the Measle, who has now tied his career high in assists with 10. <laughs> I can't believe this of all passes makes it through. Take a low shot on net, hits Gustafson in the pad, and just flies out into the open. Oh, Brodine, I benched him. There you go. Stevenson to Kaprizov. That was almost costly. Here we go. Five minutes to go in this game, and here comes Mika Zibanejad. Are we coming back? You got to make the pass. Kaprizov takes that one away. I didn't want to stick lift him. You never know what's going to happen with a damn stick lift in these games. Sometimes you hit, you hit the slash button and actually get a stick lift. A lot of times you hit the stick lift button and you get a slash. Back right in front. Oh, I thought I had a partial screen by the defender. You want to go? You want to go? You want to go? Jonas Brodine. Let's go. Let's go. Is it Jonas or Eunice? I don't know. Some of them are Jonas's. Some of them are Eunice's. They're all anuses. They're not actually. They're probably nice people. And they could probably all kick my ass. Here we go. We got him hooked though. Boom. Boom. Oh, he got him. Take a shot. We'll get him hooked again. Look, he's done. He's done. He's done. Lay down. Lay down. My name is Jonas. Bum, 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 bum. Taking out the trash. Because it's, 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 no. Oh. Are you only allowed to do, like, one in this one? Before you could do multiple, like, taunts or whatever. Or, like, chirps or cheers or sallies or whatever the hell. Anyway, we lost that one 5-4 to four for no reason. Uh, well, there is a reason. We don't have any defense for some reason. For no reason. For reasons. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. All right, here we go. We got the trade deadline coming up. We just got a 2-1 to one shootout win against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Next, we got the Buffalo Sabres. We're going to jump in against Tampa, but we're going to get through the trade deadline first. Okay, 4-1 loss. That's less than exceptional. And we are outside of a playoff spot right now. We are 6th in our division, 11th in the NHL. That is an unacceptable result. All right, did we make any changes? We got... Uh, Panarin, Zibanejad, Dimac, Arvidsson, Pavelski, Tara Vinen. That looks familiar. Kreider, Novak, Braden Shen. Is he new? Okay, then we got Bleed, Heedle, Lafreniere. I pretty, they were already here. Then we got Keandre Miller, Foxy. We got Pesci, Lindgren, Skajay, and Truba. No, I don't think we really made any <clears throat> made any moves. We got Shesty and Brossois. Uh, I don't know. Is Braden Shen new? I can't even remember. 
He might be. I don't know. Let's play Tampa. That sounds like it'd be really fun after the last game. So we come into this one uh, with a one nothing deficit against a team that is actually more of a powerhouse, more of an overly stacked team than the New York Rangers, which, based on EA logic, I think might honestly be why we're struggling so bad right now is because this team just is that good. But that doesn't make sense because we've been stacked the entire season and we were doing really, really well for quite a while there. But anyway, here we go. We're on the ice for our first shift. 8.45 to go in the second period. We're going to turn around, stop up, get it to Miller, get it to Panarin. I got stuck. He threw it to Kucherov for some reason. Like, that was a good idea. And here comes the Duke, my guy, Anthony Duclair. My, my favorite Tony D in the NHL, Anthony Duclair. Wow, Breadman got through it. He got through it right in front and across to Zibanejad. And what a save by Andre Vasilevsky and another one on Panarin. That that should have been a goal 100% of the time. 100% of the time. Coach, get out of here. Foxy gets it over to Zibanejad. All right, we're off to a, we're off to a way better start. Way better start in this one. All right, we're coming up the middle. Now we'll get it to Pavs. Oh, nice drop feed, buddy. Somebody get there. We're just going to... <laughs> Braden Point picks that one off easily. Anthony Duclair brings that one in and dumps it deep. So, comes Keandre Miller. Nice feed. Uh, let's do some ninja moves. We made it in. Oh, come on with these freaking takeaways. It's Sammy Reinhardt. Oh, okay. We got we to gotta get off the ice. We got to sim. Let's go. Owen Power over to Chernak. That was a close call. Shesty made the save, though. We got three minutes left, and they almost have full pressure in our defensive zone. And again, we're at MSG. Guys, the the last couple of teams making us look silly at home. That's not okay. Oh, they do? Uh, do they have full pressure? Or they're like a half a second away from full pressure? I think it's more like half a second away. And Zibanejad wins it. Thank the Lord. Here, here we go. Lindgren, let's go. Lindgren. You're being a hog. All right, take it, take it back then. No, <laughs> don't just lose it to Hang on, lay down. Then. All right, so we got it back again into the zone. Low shot on net. Uh, bounces around on Vasi, but he's gonna kick that one up to himself, and that is Owen Power. Wow, Owen Power. And Mika Zibanejad and Owen Power are going to sit for two or less. <laughs> All right, here comes Braden Point in front. That's Kucherov. What is that? Okay, we got to take another look at that. That was Bologna. That was solid Bologna for his 40th of the season. All right, what do we got here? Okay, show the goal. It's going to be fine. You're going to live. It's going to be great. I'll get you tickets. Come on now. Nikita Kucherov. Okay, Braden Point gets it over to Kuch. Takes a one-timer. Bounces. Bounces. What? what the hell was that? What is he playing lacrosse? Get out of here. Andre Miller gets it over to DMAC. Cut in front. Oh, that one's loose. And Vazzy does eventually find it. Do you want to go, Mr. Ian Cole? Do you want to fight me right now at this very moment? No, he doesn't. He doesn't want to fight me at all. Okay, so uh, although, although we're late in this shift, not a lot of time left in the second period. We are in the offensive zone. So if we can get something going here, we can. Okay. Cole Z gets it back to Chernak. That, well, he was literally bird watching. That was actually. How is that not an icing? How is there no icing on that? Like, seriously, what kind of cake are you building, dude? There's no icing on it? Oh, yeah, we got around Cole. Back out in front, take another shot. Pavelski with a rebound. And Vasilevsky had to be sharp to see that one. I'm thinking, be, like, we were very late in this shift. We might not even be on the ice. We still are. Wow. And we're out shooting them 26 to 21. And despite that... Near the end of the second period, we are losing two to nothing. So Cole, trying to get rid of it. Pavelski, I'm sorry. I probably should have been around helping you uh, fight that battle a little bit. Here comes Braden Point. Braden Point into the zone. He's going to stop up. Get in front. Uh, where am I? There we go. Chernak. No, 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 no. Truba, good play. There's a reason why you were the captain at one point. I don't know if he still is. Nice feed. Oh, we dodged our man. Here we go. Here we go. Drop feed. Truba, why are you passing? Why are you passing? Stop passing. Shoot the puck. Look, Tavo, he's got the right idea. Shoot the goddamn puck. What are we doing? Because Braden Point's just going to dump it deep into the zone. They got a 2-0 lead at the end of the second. They can just ride off into the sunset here for, in this period, for this moment. Okay. So far, not where we want to be. So put 20 minutes back on the clock again here at Madison Square Garden. 
as we have a bit of a deficit to overcome here. Look at that fancy light show you've seen a thousand times. I'm stuck on Miga's advantage ad, and I just, like, moonwalked backwards 87 feet. Look at this. Dipsy doodle dodge, duck, uh, dive and dodge. Knock Cooch off it. Can we get it from Sergachev? Can we get it from Sergachev? Can I reach for it now? Panera, nice shot. And Vasilevsky with the save. I backed away, but he did not play it. Oh, well, Capitan wants to have some words with us. This is a close game, and we need to get the next goal. Are you up for it? Gotcha. I'll try to spark this team's offense. Yeah, I suppose that's what we're going to try and do, right? Nice feed. Here we go. Minute into the third. Gets it to Panarin. I'll stop up at the blue line, and he's going to throw it away immediately to Hedman. Duclair. Oh, I dodged him. Oh, I was trying to hit him, and I got out of the way. Braden Point almost got that through. Foxy, great play. Amazing play. You're a beauty. I love you. Here comes the bandage ad. Immediately throws the puck away. This is like NHL 14 all over again. For all like for how good of a game it was, it had so many flaws when it came to like teammate, like AI puck control and whatnot. It's like everyone was just dumb. <laughs> everyone on your team was like the dumbest player in the NHL. Whoa, Kucherov. Uh, Braden Point. Oh, and he's like wide open, left all alone. I know I'm supposed to be watching Victor Hedman, but it's like no one's watching anyone. Sergeyev can't get it through. Braden Point. Nice glove save by Shesterk, and I called for that. I have no idea why. Come on, Foxy. Nice. Nice play. Oh, why would I dodge the opposite way I just said to freaking uh, or Deke the opposite way I said to Deke? Oh, and I thought it was going to be a rebound, and I was trying to go for the shot, and I went for the hit instead. There comes Sorelli. And I'll pick up my own uh, pick up my own mess on that one. I'll touch up the puck. We're going to the box. Hopefully it's not a costly one because we cannot afford to give up goal right now. But, uh, what is it, five and a half minutes? A little over five and a half minutes into the third period, we end up in the box. Interference minor. They did not score on it. That is good. Let's get back on the ice. All right, what do we got? Keandre Miller gets it up to... Tommy Novak, baby, who takes a hit because he jumped into one of those. <laughs> Brandon Hagel, as a Chicago Blackhawks fan, you're welcome. Okay, here we go. D-Mac walks in. You know what? Fine, just blind and fire. And Vasilevsky with a great save. He's going to cover that one up. I don't know if I'm still going to be on the ice because I just came out of the penalty box and I was on a line with some, you know, no, I'm not on the ice. All right, so what are we going to be, uh... What are we getting down to now? We might be in the final 10 minutes of the game. We are final nine minutes of the game. So I think what we're basically going to do for the rest of uh, for the rest of this video, what we're going to focus most on is just drive the net, drive the net, drive the net. Throw hits when when they uh, you know when when hits are available, take them and drive the net. Just drive the net. Don't worry about like good, good passes and whatnot. There we go. That was actually a nice pass by Bread. And let's toss that back to you and drive the net. Oh, he gets it right back to me. What a chance and a huge save by Vasi. Back to the point. And they just walk into traffic. It's like it's like a bunch of toddlers with no parents just blindly walking into traffic. Oh, not avoiding anything. Panarin easily loses that to Kucherov multiple times. And here he goes. He finally gets it into the ozone and gives it to Sergachev. Braden Point... He's going to probably pretty easily exit his own zone. Yes, he most certainly is. Brad Pesci, the defenseman. That's that one. I'm just trying to kind of stay in this, this neutral zone, this center ice kind of area. Braden Point dumps it deep. Who's going to pick it? Kick it this way. There we go. And you know what? You can take it. I should probably go for a line change anyway. That's Pavelski, so I'm just going to get out of here. <laughs> oh, my God, and they got it back, and they're in our zone. Get Just Sim, 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 Sim. Immediately. Oh, Sabanaj add up to Brady Shea. We made it. We made it to the, ow! We made it to the net, and then I took it off the wiener. What are we doing? Sabanaj is not trying to get open, like not even a little bit. So you know what? It's like, yeah, let's just throw it in his direction, see what happens. Sergachev bringing it through into our zone. I stop up. Oh, he gets it to Zook to Reinhardt. That was a big save by Shesty, baby. Let's it over to DMAC. Stopping up. Get it back to Shea. Oh, up to Sabanaj That was a nice little passing play. Oh, my God, he avoided someone, and then he missed the net. Back to the point. Get in front. Get in front. I got Hedman. He's... Oh! He leans back for the shot, and he just throws the puck away blind. 
Oh, uh, Brandon. He, you would just hit your own guy. Oh, Zuccarello gets an A++ chance on that one. Pass it up. Hey, let's play the puck out of our zone. Gets it to Reinhardt. Woo, that one took a funky bounce right in front. One-timer, easiest goal ever scored by Matt Zuccarello. That's his 17th of the season. Yep, that just happened. It's 3-0 Tampa Bay. Reinhardt with a blind no-looker. Here comes Troops, gives it to me. Let's get it back to you. No, it's not going to make it past Sergachev. Jesus, man. When you're going up against, like, a powerhouse team, do they ever make them good, eh? But when you're on a powerhouse team, God, do they ever make them bad, eh? Look, we just keep throwing it away blindly. Get it back to Sergey in front of the net. Nice block by DMAC. Too little, too late. But, hey, it's never too late to get good grades and then throw them away because you're an idiot. I didn't really mean to do that. It was, like, impulse. I just, you know... I ran into him. I just wanted to flatten him. That was a really bad game. We had a really, really bad game. DMAC ended up in the box. We lost 3 0 to the Tampa Bay Lightning. We got one more to go against the New Jersey Devils. Let's hope we can freaking do something. So uh, we enter this game down 3 0 against the New Jersey Devils. It's Jackie Boy Hughes and his New Jersey Devils. And we are on the bench to start, 8.21 to go. Uh, we are shorthanded at the moment, which is even better. So let's just sim on ahead to our first shift of the third and final game of this can this please be over now type of video. Oh, man, we got an assist in the first game we jumped into, but DMAX sitting... Kyler, oh, he freaking dodged me! <laughs> Whoa, I can't believe he actually played that. Panarin takes a bit of a hit from Doogie. Doogie Hamilton. It's that one deep in the corner. Yeah, we got an assist in the first game of the video. That is, like, all we've done. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like I said, for such a good team, we're probably eighth in our division at the moment. How Everyone is like, like man, the, the physics in this game sometimes are just, like, absolutely atrocious. Right out in front, nobody's there. And he just kept, he literally just kept skating into the net. Oh, baby. Let's get this thing out of our own zone. I'm just trying to stay kind of in that, like, that, like, close-to-the-point-ish slot area. Low shot on net. That was for you, Brad. Didn't work out that way. Buddy's in my face, and I can't move. But it is what it is. Eric Howla bringing that one down. He loses it easily. Artemi Panarin looking for DMAC. He's going to find him, baby. He's going to find him. We walk in. Uh, let's whip that one around the net, and I got tripped. I apparently did not get tripped. What? That he told, like, dude, I fell to one knee after he, like, poke-checked me. What am I, what are we doing? What are we, what is happening? What are we doing here? What kind of game are we trying to play today? And that was what, Jackie Boy Hughes flying in on our goaltender? Either that or it was Kyler Yamamoto. But we got ourselves a simulation goal. I'm going to guess 4 nothing, and I would be right. It was Jack Hughes making it 4 nothing New Jersey. All right, there we go. Pull it out. Final minute of the second period. Here comes Panarin. Panarin through the neutral zone. Oh, my God. He's actually holding the puck. He gets it to DMAC. We're going to drop feed that one to Keandre Miller, who immediately gives it to Lucic. <laughs> oh, it's just funny at this point. Jakob Trenin brings it in. Tosses that one down the ice. We're going to pick it up. Get tied up. This period's over, so I guess it doesn't really matter. There we go. Panarin. Where are we going, Panarin? He got it over to me. We got time. We got time for a shot. We got time for a shot, and that was a weird one. I don't even know if the goalie got a piece of that or if I threw it like just yeeted that thing above the net. I have no clue. All right, so put 20 minutes back on the clock. One last time in this one at the Prudential Center in New Jersey. Oh, boy. We got to do something here. We got to do something. Tony D, my second favorite or my least favorite Tony D in the NHL. Husey boy, I think might have grazed the goalpost. Again, when I'm doing the recordings, I have like zero volume. Bread, take this thing. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Walks in. Oh, nice chance. And Vitek Vanacek makes the save and covers it. That's like the best chance we've had since we jumped into this game. I'm going to try and do a little more passing and just, like I said, drive the net. We're down but not out. We can get back in this, but we just need one to get the comeback going. I'm on it, coach. I'll turn the tide of this game. Don't make promises you can't keep. <laughs> I didn't write this dialogue. Intense face-off battle going on. Me and Brad got in way too tight. Spinnerectomy. Doesn't matter. As soon as I jump in front of the goaltender to screen him. Oh, it's Jesper Bratt. Oh, and he's just untouchable. He still got it. Play it? He's not going to play it. 
But, uh, yeah, look at him. Ah, you can send him kind of flying. Yeah, like I said before, but the physics in this game are bonkers. Like, they're so dumb. They're such... <laughs> it's a pretty package. But it's like, if you go back and play NHL 23, it's like the skating was so much better. Like, the so many of the physics were just so much better. Like, I have a franchise mode for Chell 23, and I'm like, there's a lot of times when I'm like, I might just go back and play it. Because, like... I, I finally bit the bullet and was like, I'm going to make my own personal franchise mode for 24. I'm in front of the net. Take the shot. No, we're just going to throw it to Doogie Hamilton because they're stupid. Watch the stick. Last rush before line change. What a feed. What a feed. Oh, I could have had the rebound. The goalie was still down, and then no one drove the net with me. Back it up to Zibanejad. Kind of took the shot, but he kind of didn't as well. Get out of my damn way, man. You know what? That's what I might do. After this game's done, I might just go back and play my NHL 23 franchise mode just to see how it feels. Okay, here we go. What do we got? 17-11. We got a simulation goal. Is that 5 nothing? I smell? That's 5 nothing. I smell, and it's Jackie Boy Hughes again. Yeah, 5 nothing. New Jersey. We're having a great time. Keandre Miller holds it in. Panera, nice chance. Got the rebound, and Vanacek was there. All right. We almost got the full pressure bar, which is fun. That's fun. I like that. So what do they got? Jackie Boy Hughes ends up number one on the New Jersey Devils with just 61 points, which is kind of alarming that he's just got like – because we're – we got to be like pushing 70 games into the season. It's going to be like 66. We're 67. How are these staying out of the net? <laughs> there have been so many chances in front of this goddamn net in all three games where I'm like, how is this not going in? How did that not work? Oh, boy. Oh, bu 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 boy What do we got? Because Abanajad can't win that one. Jonas Siegenthaler gets it to Marino. John Marino up to Sammy Blaze, who I tried to hit earlier and missed by a mile. Whips that one around the net. Who's got that? Milan Lucic. Jakob Trenin with a chance. And Laurent Brossois. I'm pretty sure Shesterkin was in the net when we jumped into this game. I could be incorrect, but we're gone. Let's go. And now everybody surrounded me, so I can't... <laughs> Can't do anything. Can we cut in? No, we're going to turn back. Uh, get it across to Zibanejad with a long shot. That was just a long wrister. Panarin can't. Oh, and he tripped him too. Damn it. I was like, he can't get it back. So we've had a delayed penalty for like quite a while right now. There we go. Finally, we touched the puck. We got one, one, two, three. Oh, to go in this game, but the bread man is going to the penalty box. We are off the ice. We got B's across the board. B, it's a bear of a letter. Name that reference. It's fun. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. Okay, here we go. 708. Uh, we're getting back on the ice. Under seven to go. It's a Benajab with a great move. Walks in, throws it right off a defenseman. Just like he meant to do. <laughs> I'm stuck on the net. I keep telling him to get closer to the boards, and he just keeps not doing that. And that was a nice little bum bump there by uh, by Ryan Lindgren. And there's Carrier. Oh, we almost took it off him. He gets it up to Howlob, to Yams. Yams. Oh, and he gets flattened. Absolutely flattened. Going to stop up. We're just going to hold it. Slow her down. Get back to Panarin. That's another one, Long Bomber. And we just draw a penalty. We just drew a penalty at Sean Walker. You're going to have to change my name to Drew Penalty, baby. Oh, BioSteel. Bio the Steel. Didn't they go bankrupt? Shouldn't they be like a bankrupt steel? Biocrupt? I don't know. I'm bad at naming things, as it turns out. That's why we have the YTHL that I didn't even name. Because I'm not creative. But I can speak into a microphone for 40 straight minutes and not bad an eye. Brat, take the hit, buddy. Advantage ad. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. D to the measle. D to the measle. No. I just sounded like Woody Woodpecker for a second there. Maybe I am creative. I don't know. I gotta, like, I'm scatterbrained. I gotta stop talking. All right, I'll take that. We'll pick that thing up around center, and he throws it to Jack Hughes. Oh, Adam Fox, you're like a franchise player. <laughs> Foxy finally hits D-Mac, who gets knocked by Jesper Brat. Oh, wow, I actually squeezed out of that one. Got it across, but he was getting all tied up there. It was Panera, and he's dead to the world. Oh, man, come on. Okay, okay, okay. Savannah Jad, what do we got? Okay, back up in front, take the shot. I reached for it. Oh, my God, I actually reached for it. That's fantastic. Oh, the next game is up against the New York Rangers, but guess what? I ain't playing it. <laughs> <laughs> We're off the ice. I'm assuming that is probably going to do it for this one. Yes, that is going to do it. Another shutout loss. 
five nothing to the New Jersey Devils. Not fun at all, man. Anyway, that is going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the frickin' time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.